How's it going out there? This is Feature Mind, and so is the law of attraction pagan? Is it occultish? Is it anti Christian? You see, I, I believe what's going on here is there's like these new age, whatever new age is. Like, I don't even look into that stuff because I'm not overly like religious, I don't like to belong to any type of organized stuff, so. I don't look into stuff like what they would call new age or prosperity gospel or whatever they want to call it, whatever they, they're they trying to link law of attraction to. I just look at the name itself and I, I took the name. See, if, if, if you're not following the law right now, it's, what's going on here is I made a video about prayer and, uh, and about like I, I use the word law of attraction, I think, in one of my, you know, in the video and so you know a couple of christians were like yeah that's not that's a um, new age and that's a cultish or whatever and i'm like you know what i i just the reason why i use that term is because i discovered it biblically like i know if you look up law of attraction you can find a lot of stuff saying oh it's new age and stuff but you can also find if you look a little deeper, you'll find information that will link a lot of what they call law of attraction to the Bible. Like even with the word karma, they use that word. That's like a Hindu or something. It's like some type of uh, pagan or yeah, pagan religion or something. Just using that word um, karma. But there's things in the Bible that confirm that it's it's actually a thing. It's just that. These religions and st they'll they'll put like their title on something that's actually real. So, like in the Bible, it would say, "What goes uh, well?" It would say, "If you live by the sword, you'll die by the sword." Right? Jesus said that to one of his disciples, didn't he? So, what he's saying is like, if yeah, basically, if you go around killing people and using your sword, he's probably going to end up meeting his fate the same way or be executed or something eventually um and then when the bible says um believe and it will be it's it's saying like yeah you gotta use your mind and start believing start you know you can use your power you can ask and stuff but god god's showing us that we have abilities too like He's telling us you can believe and have the faith of a mustard seed and you can do great things. Jesus was telling the disciples they can do great things too. And um, they can walk on water. They can, you know, Jesus was turning water into wine and um, raising people from the dead. He was doing a lot of stuff. Moses was splitting the Red Sea. He was getting water out of a stone. Yeah, they were doing incredible things. And the Bible was saying that the disciples were learning that they had the ability to do things too. They were even walking on water for just a few seconds until they lost faith that they couldn't do it anymore. So there's um, a lot of other references. See, I'll have to come across this this video or wherever I found this information and share it with you all where it just links a whole bunch of Bible stuff to what the uh, what they what they're calling the law of attraction is like. Yeah, so basically if you walk around, if you wake up grumpy, you you walk you go you wake up, you go to work, you have road rage, you might yell at somebody, they might stop and pull a whipping out because of your energy that you're attracting. You start, you know, you you you're mean to people all day, you might end up getting into an argument or a fight, you end up in jail. And and, and then it's all connected to your energy that you attract it. If you wake up nice and do a lot of good things to good people, you might end up uh, developing a relationship that might lead to other great things and so on and so forth. So, and then like, uh, so if the rap, there's there's some rappers out there, they might make some, they might make some real aggressively violent songs. And then they might even take, be involved in taking some people out and then not too long after they they'll probably get taken out um because of the, the the energy they've been putting out you know with their music and their songs and this has this has happened to a lot of rappers especially out of chicago um you know they might end up making this song and putting out their energy well what if 
what if they did the opposite? What if they were, instead of making songs about violence, what if they were making songs um, nonviolent? Maybe it wouldn't have attracted that energy, you know? Like, if um, if you have a club and it's playing a lot of violent songs, it's probably going to, uh, a violent, violent rap music and drill songs and stuff, it might attract a crowd that's going to be, that's going to be tend to be more violent and um, there might be some fights that break out. There might even be some gunshots that, that break out or even, some people might even get hit. It could be a concert, it could be a club or something. But if, if you go to a, a, a book club, you know, they might have mellow music playing with candlelight and books and stuff and wine. It's going to attract a whole different crowd. You know, it's probably going to not be, a, it's, you probably don't even need to um, bring a whipping in or anything in that crowd because what that, the crowd that it attracts, just with the energy. So th there's something to the whole thing of law of attraction. If you go to school and you're in the chess club, you're going to end up with a different group of friends than if you in a different path in life versus if you went to school as an athlete. You're going to end up, if you're an athlete, you're going to end up around a whole different crew, a whole different, you're going to meet different people. Your whole life is going to end up on a different um, trajectory and it's going to draw, you're going to, you're going to draw different people to you from your energy. You see, it's all about energy. And um, so there was a few more quotes in the Bible. I see that I'll have to probably do a specific video about that where I, I, I link it so it's like I feel like they take the names of stuff and then they take it for themselves and uh, the Bible also said something like do unto others as you would do to yourself or you know it's, it's like the golden rule treat others as you would treat yourself yeah it, it comes back to you treat you going around treating people bad you're gonna something bad could happen and it could snowball from there so that's what I mean when I say law of attraction. I'm not necessarily saying, I'm definitely not saying start looking into some, you know, readings and occult activities and start um, praying to st weird shrines with goats. And that's not what I'm saying when I'm saying the law of attraction. I'm just saying ba the basic idea that your energy matters, your words matter. You see, we're um, co-creators. God created the word, the world with words, and um, we have the ability to use words too and create things with our thoughts. See, everything originates in our mind. Everything you see starts with your thoughts, and then your thoughts uh, create the words, and then the words it, it can end up creating a car. You know, like the car was thought up first in a mind. Your computer, everything, houses, everything is. You know, like with the architecture, it starts from the mind and then ends up becoming a real thing. So we have the same kind of, you know, we have like on a smaller scale, we have those same types of abilities. To, uh, you know, what we cause things to be ver out of our mind. Our mind helps create things. So, um, like I said, I can do the collection and figure out all the scriptures that um suggests law of attraction type things it's just that i don't know what else to call it it's like if you're gonna call like karma i hate i don't like that name i i don't like i don't really like the word law of attraction either i don't because i feel like they hijack those names and those concepts you know the occult world they they use th these things for themselves uh when you say like spelling that like, like the witchcraft, they, they say that word spill too. They say cast a spill in it. It usually involves, you know, what you say and they, they say things, declare things. And uh, they took that whole concept of, of spill. It's even in our language. Words are, you know, you, you, you're a spilling bee. So it's like, if you're going to do a spilling bee, you're not, you're not practicing a cult. Um, you're not you're not a witch or or a warlock or something if you're doing a spelling bee, but the, a witch and a warlock go they, they'll go around and take that word spell and use it for their own use it in occultish stuff. So, it do, but it doesn't belong to them. So, so the concept of using a word if um, I remember fixing things 
that seemed impossible. And then it's like, oh man, that's like you. If you almost, I almost wanted to stop, but then I tell myself, I can do it. I can do this. I can do this. I got this. Um, and then, and then I end up getting it. It's like so. If I would have just allowed my mind to tell myself, no, nah, just give up, then I wouldn't have gotten it. I would have had to call the, a professional in. But then I tell myself, I got this. I can do this. And it changed the output. It changed, you you know, your mind, your subconscious mind can, your inner mind, when, when you feed your mind and confirm that you can do things, your mind will, will help you. Your mind, you'll start finding things and seeing things. And like if you tell yourself, oh, I can do, you can do this or that, you're going to start becoming aware and your mind will help you. you you're going to start seeing things that you wouldn't have noticed before. Stuff like that. I can get into bit more detail about this, but I don't think I need to because I think I think we kind of covered it. So, yeah. I mean, anyways, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about like it's it's just what do you think about all that we spoke about? Do you think like um, we shouldn't practice like these things? Do you think like Christians shouldn't believe? You know, I just it's just basically believing in yourself and. You know, and, and watching your thoughts and your words and your minds and what you what you allow into your mind, like watching the music that you watch or the music that you listen to and the movies that you watch, like just making sure that you're you kind of, you know, like like um, like being aware of that type of stuff, um, uh, like a crowd, a Kanye West crowd would draw a different crowd than. Um, than the Travis Scott crowd, you know, or or um, a three six mafia crowd might draw a different crowd than a Taylor Swift crowd, you know, something like like it's just like attracts attraction is a is a real thing, and it I think um, we don't we don't let them just hijack words like I don't let people just hijack words like that for me though like if if when I fought when I found the links to like it's just some of the things are just common sense it's just like of course your, your energy matters your your words matter your inner thoughts matter you know all that stuff matters and it, I, I think there's something real to it so anyways let me know know your thoughts in the comment section and description box if you'd like to uh, support this channel you can donate as little as a dollar to help keep this channel online I'll leave the link in the comments at, well in the description box in the comment section as well. Also, um, I'll leave a link if you'd like to check out my social media and my other channels, plus much more. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Feed Your Mind signing off.